Here's a new battery I've come across. Uh, this is Mueller Energy, uh, 105 amp hour slimline lithium battery. Um, this company is based in New South Wales in Australia here. Uh, I just stumbled across them on their website there and I was actually pretty impressed by the price and their um, quality of looks of their battery. So I figured I'll get one for myself and, and see what this is like. Now they're, according to their logo in here, designed in Australia. Um, that comes uh, obviously made in, assembled in China, whatever, who cares. Um, it has uh, 150 amp discharge and charge capacity, I believe, from what I can understand on their website. Um, the case on this one here is 620 millimeters long from end to end, or about 690 if you include the feet on the side. Uh, about 80 mil thick and about 340, uh, 340 mil high. Um, they also do a 200 amp hour in the same sort of case size, just thicker, and they do a 200 amp hour in the normal sort of rectangular square metal case size. Now all their batteries have um, accessory sockets, USB cigarette lighter sockets on the side. Um, the 200 amp hours have um, studs where this just has a Anderson plug connection, which the others also have too. Um, they have relocatable feet, which you can move from the side to the bottom, both top and bottom, which is nice. They come with a five year warranty, I believe. Um, but you know, if these companies are still around in five years time, it'll be nice, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, it also has included in the price um, uh, is uh, a smart battery LCD monitor, which does the usual sort of tells you the percentage left as it boots up here. So percentage left of what's in the battery or the state of charge, um, your current charge discharge, the um, actual voltage of the unit and the temperature inside the battery and time to empty. Um, on page two, it gives the option to be able to turn the BMS on and off. So on for, you can turn it on for charging or off for charging or off for um, discharging and one for discharging just by simply tapping the screen. That shows you the minimum and maximum temperatures and a BMS sat, whatever that is. I'll tell you one day if I ever work it out. Um, and the third page is your, BM, your cell voltages, which is a neat feature. Um, gives you the minimum and maximum in a color. So it's, um, you know, as you can see, even just, it's just out of the box, it's sitting there nicely balanced. The unit actually has a Halltech um, active balancer also built into it with the JBD BMS that has, obviously, like I said to before, with a Bluetooth app. Uh, has a maintenance window, which I believe is there, so you can access the fuses for the USB and the cigarette lighter. Um, but unfortunately, they um, are located in a, a different place, which is up here, so you've got to remove the case to um, get to those fuses. That's your um, active balancer bolted up there, which um, has a switch on voltage of 2.7 volts per cell and um, to 4.5 volts per cell. Uh, I'm assuming it's the normal sort of five amp one. They have EVE cells, um, uh, 100 amp hour, 105 amp hour EVE cells installed in the battery. JBD BMS, as I said, Bluetooth module. Um, there's your Anderson plugs, all nicely mounted up. Um, it's got a nice bus bar set up across the top. It looks pretty sturdy for the um, for the price that you pay. They also have, by the looks, two temp sensors for high and low temp, which is a nice, neat feature to have. Uh, it's not too badly laid out for um, for what you'd expect to pay for the money. I guess it's like anything; only time will tell whether these are any good. But I'll, um, I guess I'll find out after I install it. Well, that's all I've got to say for now. Um, we'll see how this goes, eh?